If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They got 24-7 support. They're super awesome to work with. Guys, skip the packs, save some money, head over to MuttReserve.com, and use code POOL for 50% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over what you guys need to be doing with your coins right now Madden 21. Now, guys, the purpose of this video here is to pretty much inform you guys of the state of Madden right now what you should really be putting your hard-earned or your money spent coins on guys because at the end of the day this is a this is this is money value right because that's the thing that people don't realize sometimes that these coins literally go for quite literally go for money or time and time is money so when you have two million coins using it smartly could be the difference between breaking your wallet and not breaking your wallet so let's say you have 2.2 million coins that alone in coin value could be like four hundred dollars five hundred dollars worth of coins maybe even more so if you use it dumb you're pretty much just burning money so i always like to give you guys insightful like information on when to use it when to spend it when to buy it now guys before we do get into today's video and go over how we're going to be going about this make sure down below hit that subscribe button turn that on your boys join the family give this video a big thumbs up as always if you haven't already comment down below let me know what you've been doing with your coins as of now now guys the thing right now we are at we are 200 subs away from 23,000 subscribers guys that is huge we started at 21 just a few weeks ago or just a week ago or so so guys can we get 23k by tomorrow that'd be super awesome smash that like button if you're watching this video guys take a chance come join the family I greatly appreciate it now guys let's get into the video so all you guys been asking me i have such and such coins i have such and such coins what should i be doing so i'm gonna give you guys the small stack medium stack large stack concept here okay so i'd say anything below 500k is the small stack a million coins is like the medium stack and anything over a million coins is like a large stack so the way I'm gonna be doing this, if I'm gonna go, so I'm just gonna do this so I can categorize you guys, you guys into what I want to be pretty much giving you information on, because all the information is not applied depending on your stack. So if you're below 500k coins, is where we're gonna start right here. There's a few routes you can take. So in my opinion, you're not in a place to be buying. I am my this is this is always my my uh, methodology, like methodology of playing Madden. If you guys aren't a heavy pack spender or not a YouTuber or something like that, where you're just constantly cracking out packs and playing the game, if you have below a million coins. You really should be working on building the stack before you actually go ahead and buy it. And the reason for this is, guys, money makes money, and that applies to coins as well. So, when you spend all your coins for a quick little enjoyment of players, you have no way of keep growing that. The best thing you could do is get that first a million or so, and keep using that a million to grow your stack, so you're able to buy and grow. So what I would do is I'd pretty much get my million coins, and then I grow a little more. It's like 1.3. Then I'd spend that 300k, so in players, and then I get back to 1 million. Buy some more players, um, make some more coins, get back to a million, make some more coins, get back to a million. Before you know it, I have a million coin team and still a million coins without ever losing it because you're able to invest in higher play, price players. Pretty much right now, guys, right now is not the time to buy for anyone, large, medium, or small stack, guys. And I'm gonna go over why. So pretty much ever since the Legends dropped, we are going through a massive rise in prices because everyone wants training for the new Legends. Everyone wants to power up Dan Marino, get Hot Rod Master. Everyone wants to power up Jerry Rice get whatever he ends up getting for them. Everyone wants to power up some Team Diamonds. And people also saw the first Legends. They're like, okay, if I don't want those, I'm good. I really like the Team Diamonds that are out. I'm going to power up them. So training has been a heavy demand, a heavy, heavy demand. And training is super expensive right now. So you have to go ahead and buy a lot of base cards, which pretty much has risen the entire market. So that is why my advice, it doesn't matter. Like right now, I consider myself large stack and I, have, I, won't, spend a, I won't spend a dime. I have not purchased a card. Guys, I, I kid you not, I have not purchased a card in Madden 21 besides for a game, but like I have not I have not built my team. I've been waiting. Because we do have legends coming tomorrow. And if you guys know anything about legends, that usually kills the market a little bit, at least the legend market. So I am waiting for I'm waiting for tomorrow to see if we can get the market to crash a bit before I buy. But for all you guys right now, you want to be flipping all these coins, medium, large, and, and small stacks. So but if you're a 500k kind of guy, first off, sell your team. In my opinion, for everyone, sell your team. And, and the simple reason is just look at these core elites right now. This is the highest price you're going to find these core elites for quite a while. Michael Thomas at 150 plus is not going to stay for much longer. Same thing with Bobby Wagner at 176, McCaffrey at 195, Mahomes at 180. Guys, these prices are not are not are not attainable. They're too expensive. They're way too expensive. Aaron Donald 256 is like the only guy who I can maybe see. Maybe in the 256 range for a decent amount of time. Maybe. 
If these prices are not sustainable, then they're not, they're not going to be maintained. I promise you guys, if you have core leads, sell them all. I sold every core lead on my team. Now, the 80s to 81s, you can maybe hold for a little bit just because those aren't going to change too much. But, like, I mean, they're 14K. You can get them back for 10 later. I mean, it's 3K. is not the biggest deal, but still. So, if you have a 500K team and, you, and you're... First off, guys, max my level. All you guys should be max my level already. That's just a million coins easy. But beyond that, you want to be making sure you're not buying cards. You want to make sure you're, set, you're taking advantage of selling your core leads first and foremost. Once you've done that, in my opinion, you want to wait till tomorrow to Legend Saturday, which is going to be on a Wednesday this week because we're getting an extra drop. You want to wait till tomorrow and see how the market crashes. Then you want to use those newfound coins to reinvest into the Legends and pick them up cheap. And then the next day, you want to resell. And then Friday, Superstar MVP comes out, part two. And you want to pick up some cheaper cards. And then vice versa, come back and sell them again. And then wait, it's Saturday again. Then you want to reinvest your coins again. Then sell out on a Sunday. It's very simple, guys. You have three opportunities this week to buy in, come out, buy in, come out, buy in, come out. By the end of this week, you could have tripled your coins. It's just, it's just, it's that simple. Now, guys, now this is going to, this is going to be exponentially larger as you have more. So if you're a small stack guy, 500K, you're going to potentially be able to make like, you're going to be potentially able to sell and then rebuy back and then do the whole thing. You'll probably end up at around 750 to a million coins. If you're a million coin guy, you could easily get to 1.5, 1.7. And if you're a 2 million like me, like that's literally what I did. I had a million point like one. So when I did all this, I ended up at 2 million. I almost made a million. Now, if I do this again, I could probably end up at three. Now, it just depends. It's a matter of how many good snipes start tomorrow. If I have some time to my videos to so go ahead and do all that. But you definitely want to be taking advantage of the fact that you want to be taking advantage. Volatile markets are the greatest thing for everyone. People that do it small. Like in real life, a volatile stock market during coronavirus has led to people making tons of thousands of millions of dollars because it just moves so much. So right now, these are these are all up here. Not sustainable. The median's over here. With the equilibrium's over here. They're up here right now. You guys are going to want to be able to make sure that while they're up here, you are selling because you're going to make so much money. Like why? How can you pass up on that many coins for Michael Thomas? Or Patrick Mahomes, knowing sure damn well that when Legends and the Superstar MVP and everything drops, promo drops, or anything else drops, could easily kill this right back to his back. Like you guys saw this at a much lower price. Like you saw Mahomes at 120. So like, how can you even fathom the idea of allowing him to sit there like that? It's just my personal opinion. But like I said, guys, to pretty much like put the put it out in, in steps for you guys. Sell, sell first and foremost. It's a selling. It's a selling market. And then after you sell. Watch, watch tomorrow morning at 10:30 when things drop. Watch Draw Legends Saturday. Pick up some low set piece legends. Pick up some legends. Pick up some cards, and then wait. And then you watch again and wait until things rise up in value. Then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna resell the cards and make a, a quick, a qu literally a quick dollar. Like it's gonna be so simple. And then take those coins into Super Saiyan VP on Friday and either buy some new cards that you, if you want to buy then. But the weekend league is now. You know, in my opinion, guys, you don't need a team until weekend league drops. It's just my personal opinion, because that's when the competitiveness really starts. Now, if you're not a weekend league guy, you're just a seasoned guy. Seasons is all year long. You're not really waiting for that. You don't have a rush here so much to really go ahead and get a good team for that. In my opinion, just make as much coins as you can now, because the early stages of the game, which is kind of the part that I stress, is the best time to make coins, and it could set you for the whole year. Like if you get if you go broke now. It's gonna be progressive, progressively hard throughout the year to keep a good coin stack. If you get rich now, like Madden Rich, like 1.1 million coins, 2 million coins, 3 million coins, anywhere between there, and you're able to maintain that stack while still growing and reinvesting it, you're able to pretty much just, you, it's, like, it's like you play with other people's money. You're able to take other people's coins and just let them sit in there from sniping and reselling, and then just keep playing with their coins that they're giving you for being dumb and over buying. And you play with it all year and you want to buy new packs. But that's just my personal opinion. Now, for all you guys who are low on coins, may have not even little stack, maybe you're zero guys, and you need some coins to start doing this, so you can like get get like a good uh good starting point. Head on over down below to mutreserve.com. Use code Poodle fifteen percent off your order. Super cheap coins. Make sure to do that. It does help if you have no stack right now, of course. But yeah, guys, I mean that pretty much wraps everything up. Like I said, if you're a large stack with two million plus, you can still be. I I still do it anyways because that's just dumb not to. But if you're that big, I mean you can you can buy a team down to a million. Like I said, my general rule of thumb is just never go below a million coins. Now let's say. There's all these legends out and they're all going for super super cheap and you know they're gonna go back up fine Spend all your coins go to zero The only thing is when you're at zero guys, you're gonna see that snipe and you're gonna miss it when you're at zero You're gonna see that that market crash. And you're gonna miss it Like nothing's worse than seeing a huge market crash crash or anything and just being missing it all So that's just kind of why I recommend you stay at a nice even price point But guys these legends have become the, the legend market has pretty much leveled out. So remember that This is kind of like a high price level up for them 250 260 so really see the problem like 220 but tomorrow, they might come down to like 210, 205, 220. That's when you maybe pick them up and then you resell them back in a few days. But as long as there's no one that comes out of the position, that's better. Always check that too. Position is a big is a big key to whether or not prices stay that way. But right now, training super expensive. There will be a training crash in the near future. Madden will drop something that kills training. And that's when people are going to get screwed. 
Ne oh, and another good rule, never hold on to things for too long. That's the biggest thing I've learned in my eight years of playing Mutt since Madden 13. Never hold on, ne never be card biased. Like Heath Miller, he's your favorite card in the NFL. He's your favorite, he, he was your favorite player in the NFL. He's your favorite card in Madden. He goes for 158K. You see him go up to 160, sell him. But it's only 10K, sell him. He's gonna, there's gonna be a time when he's 110. People like to bake a team and then hold on to it for a month just to find out that two million core team now goes for a million. You just, you just literally, you're just burning money at that point. Always be on top of it. Now, what I like to do, you, what I like to usually do, just one last little thing before we get out of here, is if you see, uh, I like to sell cards at night. I overprice them at night. So, like, let's say I have a Heath Miller, Dan Marino, and Michael Thomas, but they're not powered up. So, I'm like, I'm gonna get off for the night. I'm gonna go out with some friends. I'm gonna go get some dinner. I won't be back till tomorrow mid afternoon. I'm not gonna play for like 24 hours. I'll put Michael Thomas on the block if he goes for 150, let's say, or 165. I'll put him up for 185. Let's see if I can let's see if I can overprice him. I'll put him up for like 190 for like 12 hours. I'll put Dan Marino for 180 for 12 hours and Heath Miller for 170 for 12 hours. After reduction, I still make like 7 to 10k per card. That ends up being like 25 to 30k total. Put them out. I wake up in the morning. Oh, they sold. Then the next day, I wait like a legend Saturday and I pick them right back up. And there you go. You just essentially got the same players and generated yourself 30k while sleeping. But guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you are into the channel, make sure you're going below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the only button boys from join the family. Make sure to do a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know what you guys have been doing with your coins. Are you small, medium, or a little? Are you little, medium, or large stack? Let me know down below, guys. But that's about it. Let's get to 23,000 as quickly as possible. 200 more subs. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And make sure to use code POOL for 15% off at mutreserve.com down below. That's it, guys. I'm out. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.